Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm sorry, Glant. Just call me Glant. And today we're playing Dragon, a game about a dragon. I learned about this game on Steam because I was looking up games where you play as a dragon. And I happened to find this. So I thought it was interesting, so. Let's go play it. Yeah. Without further ado, let's just play it. I haven't even played it yet. I've just been messing with audio setting. This is Dragon. Dragon is, well, a dragon. He lives here in his house with his girlfriend, Edry. Edry. I don't know. He calls her his mate. She calls him Dragon. Dragon isn't very ferocious. He's not tough. He can't fly too well. He can't fly too well. And his hobbies include snacking, playing video games, reading children's books, and watching daytime TV. Right now, he's watching his favorite show. It's about classy people shouting at one another over things grown-ups shouldn't be discussing in public. I'm 2,023% sure he's my baby daddy, says the guest on the TV. <laughs> Disagrees, Dragon. Well, says the TV host, I have the DNA test results here with me and... Suddenly, Dragon hears an awful scream outside. Sounds like his girlfriend. This is odd because she's pretty level-headed and considers screaming something for hussies and other women who reject self-sufficient life a self-sufficient lifestyle lifestyle. Wow. Dragon hurries outside to see what the matter is. Not a kid's game, I guess. <laughs> oh no! It's the king! He brought along his wizard, his general, and some soldiers, and they've kidnapped Dragon's girlfriend. Her girlfriend as Dragon? What's it look like? This is an abduction, says the king. The general and the wizard shrug their shoulders and grimace at Dragon apologetically. Dragon shakes his fist at the king. Rrrrrrrrrrrrrr, he asks. This isn't about what I want, it's about what I don't want. You're enough dragons as it is. The last thing in my kingdom needs is more of you, explains the king. I don't... I don't think you understand how this works. Um... Okay, because I'm pretty sure his girlfriend's a human. That's from what I read somewhere. So I don't I'm not sure that's how it works. Right then, I'm going back to my castle and you are going back inside to watch whatever trashy TV shows are on this early in the morning. Our Princess Dragons. Ciao, Dragon. Dragon thinks about going back inside, but well, she is the love of his life. That's his words, not mine. He's been reading those trashy teen romance novels again. The kind with taglines like, When Dragon falls in love, it is for real and it is forever. You know the sort. Oh, but don't tell him I told you that. If he asks, as far as you know, he went to save his girlfriend straight away. Wow. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so this is the world map. Uh, Dragon's house. What's in Dragon's house? Let's see. Uh, okay, I forgot. That's fire. Uh, okay. The bed? The bed. Can I sleep on the bed? No. Two story. Who are you? Can I talk to you? Uh, that is what I get. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Green Grasslands 1. Okay. Hey. I'm playing with- ah! I'm playing with the controller, so... Okay. Why? Oh, pause. Okay. I'm not gonna worry with you. Sheep! I'm gonna beat up all the sheep. Why are you... Are you magic sheep? Can I not move you? I want that book. Well, I guess that's the end of the level! Smoke his pipe. 
Green Glass Lens 1, Green Glass Lens 2. Might as well go with 2. That wasn't a very long level. Dragon chases the king and his knights to a farm. It looks like the, U the Wool Union is having a meeting today. They're a little on the extremist side, so I hope he doesn't intend to run straight between them. And yet, they force us workers to live in industry-sanctioned apartments. They don't pay us and expect us to survive on grass alone. They tell us we're lucky to even be alive, that they could just sell us as... The meeting is briefly interrupted. <laughs> Seriously? They're like, oh, I gotta... Dragon, what did I just tell you not to? See? The establishment doesn't even respect the right to peaceful assembly. Brothers, let us speak no more of non-violent resistance. The knights are otherwise occupied. Let us seize the day and take what is rightfully ours. The sheep break into a chant. We'll be no more your wood woolen slaves. We'll fight your shears down to our graves. And in the end, though we may fail, your men will weep, your women will your women wail. So come, my herd, we move tonight. And as they doze, erase their blight. I'm surprised I did that so well. Bella Revolution. I don't I don't know French. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I know it's like Whoa, 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 whoa. Sheep! What the heck, sheep? Am I jump in these boxes? Get away from the sheep? Yes. Oh, Archer. Uh, Archer. Hi. <laughs> what is this? Leaf charm. A trinket made to look like a leaf. No, not that kind of leaf. Not that kind of leaf either. Grow up. Priestess flight. Okay, I, th I think they're making a reference to something. I know what one of the references is. I don't know if the other that kind of leaf. I don't know what that reference is. Um, can you just die? There you go. Hey, farmer. Um, it almost looked like you had that pitchfork up your butt. I was gonna make a joke about that, but let's just keep going. Apples. Oh, cutscene time. Um, okay. Sheep coming. Sheep, 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 sheep. Run from the sheep. <laughs> Bright pink sheeps are gonna come ruin our day. See, these are some magical sheep. They can fly. Oh, I, he actually has a unique run animation. See ya. <laughs> Later, sheeps. Oh, I got hit three times. Green Grasslands 3. Okay, yeah, let's let's go ahead and do Green Grasslands 3. Why not? Oh, I can duck. I can shoot like that. Uh, can I die if I fall here? I don't know. Um, is that a bottomless pit? I don't know if that's a bottomless pit. Uh, that's right. Okay. Take out all these knights. Just kill them all. Eh. Take that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go. And Archer. No. Take it, Archer. Now look at this couple up here. Can I join them? Can I join them? Oh, he actually gets tired. It's not like a permanent glide, he gets tired after a while. Yeah, let's keep going! Ooh. And all like the all the sprites I think are like All the sprites are hand drawn, all the backgrounds and everything. I think it's done with like pen and crayon or something. I thought it was like a unique art style, so I was gonna try the game. Uh, I don't even know if there's a like it's a bottomless pit. Oh, guess not. Check out that parallax scrolling. And back to the pipe. Okay. 
versus <laughs> versus TM61061. Uh, that's the boss fight. Might as well do it, right? Thanks to the sheep holding up dragon, the king's gotten pretty far ahead. In fact, he's almost back at the castle. He pulls his general aside and hands him three orbs. The wizard put up a barrier around the castle for me. As long as the dragon doesn't have these, he won't be able to get in, he explains. Wouldn't it make more sense just to take them in with you? Asked the general. He said if I took them in, the spell would stop working. That seems, uh, needlessly, contri needlessly contrived. That's the rules of magic, brah. Were his exact words. That's, oh, that's the rules of magic, brah, were his exact words. Well, yeah, he definitely said that. At any rate, says the king, I need you to take these and give them my most powerful subject. Take one to my admiral. Her? Didn't she steal all the villagers' gold just to build that dumb boat? To her credit, it's a very nice boat. <laughs> the general grievances behind his visor. Fine, who else gets one? Take one of those two up to the mountains. That Baldu Baldoin and his brother who can't make up his mind how he likes his name spelled. Seriously? But they're like zombies. I think they prefer the term electronically preserved. Of course they do, the general thinks to himself. And the last one? I suppose you could deliver it to my gamekeeper in the forest, but you're not to dally there like you usually do. I need you to watch our guest. As the general runs off to play delivery boy, the king turns to one of his scholars he brought along and hands him a fourth orb. Is that secret weapon you've been working on ready yet? He asks. That is an exceptionally crude way to describe the electronically enhanced super soldier, but yes, more or less, sir says the scholar. Can it stop that dragon from getting this? It hasn't undergone a field test to date, but it should in theory. The controls are still imperfect though, and of course the electro electromotive delivery system could always... Yes, brilliant. Just stop him, okay? But sir, I'm explaining why that might not work quite so die. He says in a very... I am the king, I, and I can take away a lot more than just your job, boys, that regals are quite good at. Yes, sir, of course, the scholar boots up the super weapon as the king heads toward the castle. His majesty always does things like this. He never listens. It's so unfair. I'll stop inventing. That'll show him. Jeez. Nah, it. What is that? Oh, this is scrolling left. Innovation! It scrolls left. Okay. Oh, is this a boss fight? Wait. So can I not hurt him? Wait. Can I not hurt him? What? What? Wait, what's that? Hello? I see you. Oh. Let's see. I gotta wait for our opening. Okay. I guess we'll try that again. Come on, man. Hit me. Oh, I'm supposed to duck under that one. Okay, jump. The weird thing is, the game is a 2D side-scroller, but I can't control Dragon with the D-pad on this controller. I have to use the analog stick. Okay, die. Watch what it does. Ooh, duck. And jump. <laughs> duck. Jump. Yeah! Fire. Fire to the face. There's someone in that window watching us. And fire. Yes! I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, 
going up. Kick it. Fire to the face. Oop, super bless. Take that. <laughs> How much health you got? Going above. Looks like he's getting tired. And below. <laughs> yes! Wasn't that hard. With a mighty blow, Dragon knocks the Super Soldier off his feet. It looks like the King's Scholars have run away, too. But not before leaving behind the orb they were supposed to protect. Jeez, Dragon, you didn't have to be that rough, he complains. Apologize, <laughs> Dragon. The Super Soldier blinks. Huh, I can think straight now. I think you broke whatever these Scholars were using to control me. He winces. Too bad it's that's not all you broke. He gets to his feet. I still have the thunder power they gave me, though. I could probably give you some if you wanted. Here, let me teach you. When they shake hands, Dragon feels a jolt of electricity go up his arm. I bet he can use thunder breath now. If I could roll my R, I would do thunder like Luigi the Superstar. <laughs> With that, they part ways. Dragon to continue his quest, and the super soldier to find a tailor to fix his costume. Maybe a shirt, too. And perhaps some pants that won't give you a headache to look at them. <laughs> oh, that's all. So, oh, I can go up or down. Toxic territory. Uh, barrier zone. Coast of dragons. And toxic territory. Okay, so that's... Yep, that's where I can go now. Okay. So thanks everyone for watching. This has been Dragon, a game about a dragon. Oh. Dragon, be sad to see you go. No, I don't want to leave yet. How do I go? Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Next time, we'll be back with more Dragon. I guess we'll go to... We'll see what Barrier Zone is first. I think that's the King's Castle place, but... Whatever. Thanks everyone for watching, and see you! Mouse. Wait, mouse.